Good morning guys, just about to have my breakfast, obviously got my chocolate porridge and strawberries, but I thought that I'd do a one day vlog today, which I haven't done in the longest time, and I was going to do a day in the life, but realistically this isn't a normal day in my life, so it's going to be more of a spend the day with me, last prepping for Christmas, like after today, I'm not doing anything else for Christmas, like what is done is done. But Aiden left the house at 5 a.m. this morning and normally I go with him because he's working away since a million one times, you guys are so bored of it. So I can obviously have the car for the week because he's literally gone for the whole week this week, which is kind of sad because I haven't really seen him much over the weekend, but it is what it is. But as I was saying, I normally go with him in the morning and wake up early, but we didn't go to bed till like gone 12 last night and I just wasn't feeling like waking up super duper early. So I'm actually about to get dropped off at the car, which is at Aiden's work because they take a work vehicle to work away. And then we're gonna go to Lakeside and I'm not looking forward to it. Here is my brother. He's still on the phone, he's still on the phone. So maybe I should be a little bit quiet. Um, but yeah, I'm not looking forward to go into Lakeside because it's gonna be so busy. But my mom wants me to go to Primark home and I need to go to Zara to make a return. So it's just, it's just gonna have to happen. And I'd also like to look in M&S for my dad's presents. I did order them online to be delivered today, but if I can find them in store, I'd rather that because then I can get a gift receipt. I don't think I could have done that online. I mean, I didn't see an option. So that would work out better. And then obviously I'll just return the online order. But yeah, that is the plan for the day. Basically just ruined the whole vlog for you guys, but let's eat this breakfast and uh, get going because Definitely a little bit later than I wanted to be today, but I had the very adult job of emptying out the tumble dryer today, like properly cleaning it out. So I'm running a little bit late. It is so busy. I did kind of think this. I did indeed think that it was gonna be busy. <laughs> I'm just gonna go straight to the back, I think. Does anyone else always have to park in the same car park? Like my mum used to always park in this car park as a kid and it's just where I park now. She's changed car park, but I just can't. I was considering it, but here we are. If you guys are familiar with this car park though, and you're familiar with my vlogs, you'll probably know we are currently sat in the Blue Water car park. It was gonna take me 45 minutes to get to Lakeside, which is such a joke. It should literally take like 20. There's traffic going over the Dartford Crossing, which I did think that there would be. I don't really wanna spend my whole day sat in traffic. So we've come to Blue Water. Hopefully I can find what I want to find. And also it's kind of easier for me because I know my way around Blue Water, so I can be in and out. I'm also hoping that because it's just gone at 12 o'clock, people are gonna be having lunch and not actually like in the shops, but Either way, it's gonna be busy. I've prepared myself, so let's go tackle this together. First port call is I'm looking for a garland, like a Christmas garland decoration. So I'm gonna to go to the Christmas magic shop that is just there, and hopefully they have one. I'm also gonna to go to Primark and check in like their home section because I reckon they should have something, hopefully. I mean, it's like nearly Christmas, so everywhere is like sold out of Christmas decks. I always love coming into this shop. It always reminds me of my grandma because she literally loved Christmas so much and they always have the prettiest baubles. I'm definitely getting distracted, but their stuff is so cute. I don't know where their garlands are, so I'm just gonna have a little look around. I am looking for my mum, so I'm trying to channel my inner mum, but there's that one, which I don't really like too much. We could go for like sparkles. It's basically just to like, jazz up our decks a little bit. I'm literally getting glitter all over me. This one here is really nice. It's 30 pounds though, but I think my mum would like this one. I might send her a photo of it. And then there's also this one, which is 29.99, but I just think it looks a little bit cheap compared to the other one. But I think, I've sent my mum a photo and I think she's gonna like the other one. That was surprisingly very successful. I can't believe how quick I managed to find one, but it was a sparkly one that my mum really liked, which I knew she would. She's such a sparkly mum. I've just detoured into H&M for Aiden though. We have a nice white hoodie. I wanna get it for him because his one right now is so ratty. So we're gonna go have a look. But it's no word of a lie when I just got off the escalator. There was a retainer on the floor, like someone's actual retainer. This is exactly what I wanted. They're 18 99 which I don't think is that bad. I'm just wondering if they've got an extra large because I'm normally one to shrink his hoodies in the wash. I'm just thinking maybe if I get an extra large, if they have one, I don't think that they do though. Large. Then at least it would stop me from shrinking it maybe. Small. I like one extra large. But will it just be too big for him? I'm not too sure. Maybe I'll just get my large. If someone could tell me why I thought it was a good idea 
to not bring my lunch with me that would be perfect i had a wrap that i bought yesterday so just trying to take off my coat it got so hot in m s and i was like oh, i'll have for lunch tomorrow but then i was like oh you won't want it whilst you're out you just had breakfast i'm absolutely starving and i'm sweating and i'm thirsty but luckily i have some water with me but that trip was pretty successful the only thing i didn't manage to get was my dad's christmas presents but that's fine because i'm gonna go collect them now from ons near me but i just realized i'm actually coming to blue water three times this week obviously i've come today on thursday meet up my dad for dinner so we're coming back again on thursday and then i'm back friday morning for my laser appointment like i'm literally spending so much time here this week and it's so busy it was heaving by the time i left but it was so cute because so many people were in like christmas jumpers with like proper like christmasy things on and i was kind of loving it so i made a decision that i'm actually going to listen to some christmas music on our drive back home because i haven't really listened to any yet the traffic to get out of so much okay we've just made it to ms and it's normally an absolute pain to park in here especially like during the day um yeah it's gonna be interesting i'm just gonna go like straight to the back because i feel like that's where i'm gonna have to oh yeah there are spaces do I try my luck? Actually, there's a lot of spaces back here. So if worse comes to worse, I can just come back. Oh, there's a space there, but are they gonna go in there? Nope, that's my space then. Thanks. Wow, what, what a treat. I was, I was really preparing myself. Normally, you guys know, me and mum come here on like a Friday all the time. <laughs> and the parking situation is just horrendous. I actually think having a reversing camera has made my parking horrendous. Like, I'm actually not good at parking anymore. And I used to pride myself on it. There's a man in that car as well. I hate that. That stresses me out. Right, let's go pick up this parcel. And then we can go home and have some lunch because I'm still starving. I'm absolutely obsessed with these biscuits at Christmas. I didn't realize they had a little tin for £8.50 or the big one for £12.50. Just gotten home and I generally feel like I need a nap after just how chaotic all the shops have been ms was actually all right though like when i was leaving there was quite a few spaces right at the front but i also decided not to get the biscuits i decided against it because last night i made like a million and one biscuits myself so i decided to save myself for eight pound fifty because that is a little bit extortionate isn't it but quick little haul of the things that i picked up so for my mum she really wanted these i don't know what they are they're just little trees that light up and they were from primark and they were nine pounds we saw them the other day for nine pounds and then at blue water they were in the sale for five pounds so i picked up two of those for her and obviously the garland that i have left downstairs inside the bag because I was covered in glitter after walking out of that Christmas shop. I picked up Aiden his hoodie. I feel like he's going to be so chuffed. He actually might think that's like his best present that he's getting this year. But then I also saw these socks near the checkout. And last year my mum got me these for Christmas. And I literally wear them all the time. And finally I got my dad's presents they didn't have the top in either MS's that i went to they had the joggers but not the top so i'm just gonna stick with these ones and he can just let me know if they don't fit but these are the joggers that he wanted and then this is the top that he wanted a nice little zip up my dad loves these like quarter zips so i'm gonna dig deep find some motivation to do some wrapping i mean i don't have a lot to wrap so dad's presents Aiden's new present that I've added to the pile of presents that I bought him and I wasn't meant to buy him any more presents and then two picture frames that are gifts as well so let's find the motivation to get this done and then I can relax for the evening which is going to be so much fun on my own. I hate it when Aiden is working away. I literally feel so lonely. It's worse when I'm working as well because like I finish work and I'm like there's no one here to have fun with. Just setting the vibes in here, getting the candles going. I've put on all of the Christmas lights. It's very orange in here, but we're about to start wrapping some presents.
we are very nearly ready for Christmas. It's like literally the final hurdle, but I've wrapped all of the remaining presents. I hope, I pray, I believe that I have. And then I've just got a bag here, a very broken bag full of the presents that Aiden has bought. It's literally ripping like the handle, the whole bag has split. So I'm actually gonna redo this. That doesn't look very good, does it? a little bit crushed do you know i'm gonna put a little bow on it and it'll be okay but i'm actually oh no there wasn't to be a bow on it here it is and then we'll just put that like over the crush bit and then no one will know Ta-da! but i'm just gonna go through all of aiden's presents and just write down on them who they're going to normally like if it was for my family like if i was giving a present to my mum then i'd write a tag and like put a bow on it but aiden's family isn't really like that and I may as well just do what Aiden does. But honestly, it's actually a lot easier and a lot more simple. Oh, sorry. Right. I think Christmas is done. I think we are all ready to go now. I can just put all those presents in a bag. And it's all good. I actually can't believe it. We're all ready for Christmas a week early. And I didn't think it was going to happen this year. Normally, I'm a very organised person. But this year, I just really could not be bothered. And now we have the rest of the evening to chill and relax. And I've currently got Taylor Swift the Eras movie on because, listen, okay, if you watched my last vlog, you know that I've watched it like twice already, but you rent it for 48 hours for 15.99 and I've watched it three times in 48 hours, which I feel like is my money's worth. I should probably get going because it's still playing downstairs and I'm missing it. And this is basically me just losing money right now. Sticky tofu, whilst obviously Taylor is on. Dinner tonight is looking great if I do say so myself. I've also got some gyoza on the side that I've already started eating, but this is like, oh, okay. Thanks, midnight. This is not for you. Just definitely breathed all over it. But this is definitely like one of my favorite meals sticky tofu, rice, broccoli. 10 out of 10. My task for this evening is to put away all of these clothes on my bed. There's actually not that many. I've just been chucking them on my bed throughout the day. I feel like one of my most hated adult jobs is putting away washing. Actually, that is such a lie. My most hated adult job is putting a duvet cover on my duvet. When I used to have a double, it wasn't that bad. But since I changed my bed to a king, I hate nothing more than putting a king sheet on a king duvet. It is so difficult and this duvet actually doesn't fit. Well, the duvet cover doesn't actually fit the duvet. It's a little bit too small. But I think I'm gonna start bedding down for the evening. I think it's either eight or about to turn or just turn eight o'clock. I want to get in bed early because I want to go to the gym tomorrow morning. I didn't go at all last week, so definitely need to go tomorrow. And I also want to read a book I haven't read in a while. And I started to read a sample of like a Christmassy book. So I might try to get into that. I did really want to read a Christmassy book, but I just don't know if I can get into one, but we'll give it a go and see how we get on. a little bit carried away i was following my washing and then i realized that i had some editing to do and this vlog the last vlog before this one has just taken me so long to edit like i pride myself on being able to edit quickly but it is honestly taking me so long so i've given up for it for another day i need to get it done tomorrow though but it is quarter to 11 i'm honestly shattered but editing makes me so tired, hence why I kind of opted to do it this evening, because obviously Aiden's not here. And I don't know if anyone else with a partner who lives with them can relate, but I just find it so hard going to sleep without Aiden here. Like, I don't know why. 
I just I just can't fall asleep. It takes me so long. So I hope you all did enjoy coming along on my day with me. I'm gonna end the vlog now so I can fall straight to sleep, hopefully. But um yeah, I think this is gonna be my last vlog before Christmas. So I hope everyone has a lovely Christmas and I will see you all very soon with a new video. Bye!